<clears throat> we're going to do another t-test but this is slightly different from the one that we did before because in this one our mean is 1.5 and we're testing or we want to test to see if there's any change now if there's any change it doesn't mean that it's got bigger or it's smaller we don't know we've got what's called a two-tailed and two-tailed because there are two tails to the t distribution now we're testing at the five percent level of significance now i've written everything out here just a reminder we have the mean the sample mean the sample standard deviation the number in the sample the degrees of freedom which is one minus the number in the sample and this is my significance level now that significance level on a one-tailed test would be the whole of this would be five percent on a two-tailed test this is 2.5 percent or 0.025 now what we're going to do is we're going to work out the critical values and on the next one we're very quickly going to work out the t just the p values so for this one we'll get our graphic calculator go into menu remember quick reminder go into number two we'll go to distribution t inverse and then we'll put in our information so our area is now 0 0.25 our degrees of freedom this time are 49 and we'll just execute so this gives me 2.01 so that means that on each end here they're my critical values plus or minus 2.01 and in a minute we're going to do a test and we'll see or on the next video i should say we'll see if our t value lies inside here and if it does we will reject ho and very quickly probably the better way to do it this is the way that the the ib are really moving towards is to do the p value so we have the same thing we draw this out really quickly 0 0.025 for each end and we'll get our calculator again and this time remember we go to distribution I'm sorry we're going to go to test t one sample here we want not equal to and then we'll start putting these in so our population was 1.5 our sample was 1.6 our standard deviation was 0.35 and our n was 50. so all that information is nice to write out get it into your calculator execute and we have p as 0 0.048 so we'll write that down 0 0.048 and then we can use it later when we do some testing